People, welcome back to another vlog. Ooh, my name is Alice Cherie. If you are new here, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you get notifi notified every time your girl drop a video. If you return subscribe, hey boos. Y'all, it's currently 7.45 in the morning. It is a Saturday, February the 10th. Y'all, and I'm just not waking up. I'm talking to y'all with hot breath. And everything it is currently pouring down raining outside y'all it's supposed to be raining outside all day all day and i have some errands i need to run which is terrible but yeah let's go ahead and get our morning started by opening up these blinds get some of this sunshine in at least some of the sunshine in at the moment, I'm about to fix the kiddos' breakfast um, and then go get myself together. So I'll just check back in with y'all whenever I'm fully myself. All right, y'all. I forgot to mention earlier when I checked in what I have to be actually doing today as to run errands. I guess I need to run some errands. Um, as you all may know, next week is Valentine's Day, and me and one of my other co workers we are on the engagement committee, which is responsible for like little knickknacks activity that's going on in the office or whatever and we decided to do like little valentine baskets little valentine's bags for the employees so i have to go pick up some little knickknacks some other little knickknacks because we ordered some stuff off of amazon some little cups um and little bags and little keychains i'm gonna actually insert those on the screen here um and yeah, we went over our budget. And me and my other coworker was pretty much saying, like, this is not enough. This is not enough. So we're going to go and get some little knickknacks and stuff out of our pockets to put inside of the Valentine's bags. Um, and then, oh, I'm supposed to be going to the nail shop. My man, my man, my man is getting my nails done for Valentine's Day. Um, and what else? I know we probably might and might not go to Sam's because we're supposed to be hosting um, 2024 Super Bowl, which is tomorrow. So we need to go get some stuff for that. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. Uh, what I all, what I all need to do or need to get. Um, so yeah, I'm about to finish doing my hygiene and then you dress and then I guess I'll just pick y'all back up whenever um, I, I'm at the store. Kids fed, taken out. Hey y'all, so I'm in Walmart as y'all can see. I'm not sure if I actually told y'all exactly what I need to come into Walmart for. Um, but everybody, all the employees have a favorites list. I went on everybody's favorites list and jotted down everything that I might want to add in their Valentine's bag. Um, so yeah, I'm in the candle section because a couple of the employees, you know, had candles on their favorites list. I'm indecisive if I want to do like a little snack or either an actual gift. So I got both of one of like their favorite snacks and then one of their favorite smells. And if I get a smell, then it'd be a candle. So I'm in the candle aisle, as you can see. Um, so I'm looking for a lavender candle. I didn't see a lavender candle. So I'll probably get her an actual food snack. Then one of the other employees, her favorite scent is apple slash like lemon. So I was gonna find like an apple candle or either a lemon candle. But 
they don't really have good options of scents here at this Walmart. I see this sweet sugared lemon. It actually smells good, so this this one might be an option. This one might be an option. Oh, and I also picked up um, a Garden Rain Odor Room uh, Derizer, but that's for my house. And then I added up, uh, ended up picking up these wax melts as well. So since I have that employee, um, that one, I'm gonna go ahead and put a green check by it. Where is my emoji? Okay, got my green check. That's one down. Um, and then someone she likes um, an apple cinnamon candle as well. I don't really see many apple. Oh, here goes an apple. Warm apple pie smells good. Given the holiday like Thanksgiving, Christmas. So this is going to be another option. So let's go ahead and give that one a green check. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and finish picking up everything on my list and then that's it. All right, y'all, so as of right now, the only thing I have picked up was what I showed y'all was just the candles. Everything else, for everybody else, I'm gonna pick up at the front of the store because I'm not gonna buy uh, anything big. So I'm gonna get like, you know, the little personal size stuff and that's at the front of the store. So I'm actually heading to, I believe Automotives, where my husband and my son is. So just walking around Walmart and that's it. Bruh, girl, shit. He know he giving his money to me. He know it's very expensive to date me. Call him, go put my name on that account because when I need money, I ain't trying Y'all, so we are in big lots and I'm loving this green chair. I actually seen one on TikTok that my husband was going to give me, but it was way much wider, like for the big girls plus size wide. But this is $79.99, which is not bad. This. 230 I don't think it's worth no $230, but hey, it is what it is. You got this gaming desk for $199. Ooh, look at me missing stuff. Um, they got some other desk chairs, but they're not nothing that I'm really looking for. I like this little day bed. This is cute. $299 for the twin mattress, and the whole bed is $450. Big Lots have a, a nice selection of toys and a whole bunch of Coco Melon toys, y'all. Yeah. My son's obsessed with Coco Melon. All these toys. Baby, I remember when I was a kid and every time we came to the toy section, I got so excited. Look at all this Barbie stuff, but they don't have a good selection of Barbie stuff. Shh, it's our voice. Oh, look what I just found in the clearance section. This big old oversized like all one size hoodie for $15 and I found two and I think I'm finna cop both of them. I'm finna go see how my husband feel about these. But y'all, look at them. Y'all, Big Lots is giving like Hobby Lobby vibes a little bit like. Look at these. This is cute. They have this dice. They got that dice. Got some other decor stuff. Got the little poppers. But yeah, they, they do the decor section. It's a little, it's cute, it's cute, it's cute. Yeah, so we were in Five and Below and I came across like their Black History section and I like this shirt. What it say? 
black and beautiful i think i'm gonna get one of those and then they have this one with just let me open this one since this one's already i like this one every shade slays i like that i really like this shirt and then they have the cup that says i am black history fight for your rights and then this one is just like a mug it say i am black magic women unapologetic educated intelligent influential powerful resilient and loving i like that speak on it girl black girl magic and then this one just say self-love then they got journals i believe these are like little candles now look at their little section yeah while these are giving me the gucci um and croc Daddy. duo Daddy. dudes look at these these are cute you got your active wears small sandals and these are more selections of their graphic tees these are actually cute look at this one it says your emotion are valid so i'm in that beauty section y'all they got the music blasting here so hopefully y'all can hear me i don't get copyrighted but they got these little van va uh, vanity mirrors for five dollars heart shape the little square ones but i mean i got a lot of cute beauty stuff i'm about to come and check them out a little often i got the they ain't even got braiding here y'all check them out makeup brushes I need to get more into my makeup era, y'all. Y'all, check out Five and Below, y'all. Look at the perfumes. So, this one actually smells good. Sweet pink. I don't, I don't know. It's, I don't know what it's giving. I don't know. But... Oh, that one smells good. Oh, yeah, that one smells good, too. And this one is the Via Las Vegas. Kind of some, like, um, Juicy Couture. Mm. Nah. And this one is the NYC Blossom. Not too much of a fan of that one. And this one smells good. Sweet cherry, Kimberly Sweet Cherry. I know I seen on TikTok that one of the girls she came into Five and Low and she was smelling like their perfumes, and she was pretty much giving good selections on which ones to give. I mean, which ones to get and which ones smell good, but I could not remember which ones, y'all. But yeah,
Drop the roof and let the smoke clear. I got diamonds to win, slides in both ears. Dice falling on the Las Vegas trip tonight. Slip that on, we might miss the fight. Fuck or not, I keep the quarter in my shorty bag. Cause she wants a mom, she tattooed that ass. I'm a lover boy, she got a choice. My shit. It's the stepping out, I feel like I'm that nigga shit I drop 30 on this room, we ain't gon' sleep for shit If I catch you not it off, then it's gon' be some shit Well, you can do what you wanna What's up, y'all? It is a much, much later in the day. It's like going on seven o'clock. Um, I think the last time I picked y'all up was when I was at the nail shop. I don't think I showed y'all the end result of my nails and then i end up getting pink toes as y'all probably seen we had a busy day today y'all let's go ahead and give a rundown of what happened today um of course the first i was at walmart i recorded in there and then after walmart we ended up going to five and below i picked up some stuff out of five and below um i think i showed y'all what i was going to get if not i'm gonna show y'all and then after five and below we end up going to ross um and then after that got my nails done my husband had to go do some ripping and running to grab some things for tomorrow because i'm not sure if i mentioned before but we're going to be doing like a little mini super bowl party tomorrow um so yeah that's pretty much it and i think i showed y'all this little oversized let me see this oversized like hoodie kind of like i think i got this from Big Lots. Oh, yeah. We also stopped off at Big Lots, too. And I got this uh, uh, from Big Lots. It was actually on sale. Original price is $29.99. I got it on sale for $14.97. So, my husband ended up liking it. So, I got him one as well. And what else did we get from Big Lots? I think this is the only thing I got from Big Lots. Um, and that's pretty much it. We're probably just going to chill for the rest of the night. Um, make me a drink or whatever. Your girl is tired. I ain't eat all day, and it's currently 6.37, so I'm about to find me something to eat, make me a drink, and just probably chill out for the rest of the night. Um, And yeah, I guess I'll just check back in with y'all later. If I pick up the camera, if I do anything extravagant tonight, of course, I'll pick y'all up. But if not, I will see y'all tomorrow. Oh, and I forgot to show y'all the things that I end up getting for my co-workers. Three of them, I got them candles, and then the rest of them got snacks. So, I end up going with the sweet sugar lemon candle. And then I end up picking up this juicy watermelon candle. Smells so good. And then this co the coworker I got this for she, her favorite scent was lavender, but I didn't see a lavender candle. But one of her favorite flowers were orchid, so I got the orchid water, and it smells so good. So hopefully she liked it. She likes it. And then I end up grabbing another pack of candle waxes. And just a odor neutralizing room spray. And for the snacks, like I said, this was coming out of our pockets. So I didn't go, I didn't get no big, uh, big bag of chips. One of the employees liked the Rice Krispies, Cheeto Puffs, Funyuns, 
ruffles and then I got M&M's for one of them so yeah um and that is it now nah, I'm gonna really check back in with y'all tomorrow what's up y'all welcome back it is the next day it is sunday it's actually super bowl sunday um i mentioned yesterday that we were supposed to be doing like a super bowl gathering so i'm actually about to get ready to start making the food that we're going to be having on the menu we're going to have um the baby shower meatballs i'm gonna do spinach dip chicken wings um and then we're also supposed to have like a sandwich platter as well we actually went to walmart earlier to go grab the rest of the things that we needed which was the crackers the meatballs the barbecue sauce for the meatballs oh and i'm supposed to be doing devil eggs as well so i needed some more miracle whip spinach for the spinach dip the heavy whipping cream and then I'm gonna be putting crawfish tails in the spinach dip, cream cheese. And then the pans that I'll be needing. Brown sugar that I'll be adding to the meatballs. Some wrench packets for the five cracker crackers that we're gonna be eating with the spinach dip. And then of course I just grab like the little cheese that I need for the spinach dip. And did some other little knickknack, paper goods, paper plates, cups, because who's gonna be washing dishes? Not I. So yeah, I'm actually about to go ahead and start doing the meatballs first because I'm gonna stick them in the slow cooker, which they're gonna be cooking for like roughly three to four hours on slow. It is currently 11.25. I think the Super Bowl don't start till like 6, 6.30. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those on so those can go ahead and cook and simmer. All right, y'all, we're about to go ahead and start with the meatballs. I just grabbed, of course, just the homestyle meatballs, the family size packet. I'm going to do it in my Instapot stuff. Uh, yeah, my Instapot Viva, the 9-in-1. I'm going to put the meatballs in the pan, in the pot, whatever you want to call it. Then I'm going to season it with some onion powder. Even your meat. Then I'm gonna do a little Laurie's. Then I'm gonna add some garlic powder. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of this garlic parsley um, conjunction mix. And then I picked up the sweet, um, sweet baby Ray's honey barbecue. The videos that I've seen, a lot of people, or most of people, use this ketchup, of course, and then the main ingredient, the grape jelly. So I'm about to go ahead and put this barbecue sauce in here. I'm gonna just put a little bit in here, mix it up first, and then I'm gonna mix the rest over the unit. So I added the brown sugar, the grape jelly, ketchup, and the rest of the barbecue sauce. And we are actually about to put the top on it. Locked. And then we're gonna set it for a slow cook. I want to sl uh, slow cook it for six hours. And then we're just gonna let it go. All right, now that I have the meatballs started, I'm about to start the five cracker crackers which y'all seen me make already and then i'll probably go ahead and start boiling my eggs so i can go ahead and do my double eggs i probably not going to record that because y'all seen me make it already but i'll just check back in with y'all you know as we 
progress and whatnot. Ooh, la, la, la. has started food is done the only thing i have left is the chicken wings it's like two minutes left got the kiddos eating back there as i seen baby food has been ran through but let's get this party started hey y'all what's up it is the next day it is actually monday february the 12th it is 7 53 y'all and it's much 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 later in the day i didn't pick y'all up last night it was so much going on y'all i was lit everybody was lit i don't even think i even peeked at the camera after i finished cooking once people started coming over i put my camera down the drink started flowing and i don't think my camera seen anything for the rest of the night besides food but it was a good turnout we had jimmy john um sandwiches we had devil eggs i ended up making the um 
baby sh I call them baby shower meatballs, but like the barbecue meatballs and the slow cooker. Um, and what else? Oh, I think I said spinach dip. I made some crawfish spinach dip, and I also made some baked chicken wings in the oven that I had did barbecue and hot buffalo with the Frank's hot sauce. Um, and then for dessert, I just end up making some um, chocolate chip cookies. But yeah, whatever clips I was able to get, of course, I'm going to insert those. But I actually wanted to come back on here and show y'all the shirts that I got from Five and Below. Because I don't think I actually showed y'all the shirts. Um, pretty much it's the Black History section that they had in there. And they only had like two shirts. So I'm going to actually show y'all the shirts that I picked up. One of them is like this little cream color shirt. And on the front of it, it has four squares with, of course, with us melanin on it. And at the bottom, it says, every shade slays. And ain't that the truth? And then I end up getting this all black. It's just basic. And it just says black and beautiful. Um, like I said, they only had those two type of shirts. They also had, I believe, a candle. They had like notebooks. And I'm, I can't remember. But I think, I, I'm pretty sure I blogged and picked up the camera when I was in five and below. Um... So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm about to actually take down my hair. I've been having my hair up for, like, almost two weeks. So, I'm going to just go ahead and take it down because I have a hair appointment in the next three weeks or whatever. And, of course, it kind of still looks fresh. So, basically, I needed to get that rough look so I have a reason to get my hair done. If you get it, if you get it, if you don't, oh, well. But, yeah, I'm about to take my hair down, let that flow. I'll probably go ahead and just close out this vlog. Y'all make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Y'all make sure y'all hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I drop a video. Because like I said before, the word of 2024 is consistency. Consistency. So that's why I'm actually about to close out this vlog so I can go ahead and start editing it so I can go ahead and drop this for y'all. And I'll just catch y'all back in the next video. Bye. Ooh, la, 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 la,